Hey free to play gang, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing something different. We are going to be taking a look at this clip by Darth Microtransactions. If you do not know who he is, uh, you're not really alone in that regard. In terms of like the creator space, we are very segregated, right? But I have heard of him before. We have covered similar content in the past. I think Calibra Crystal Guardians or something like that. Uh, that's where we actually started our channel together and uh, he's doing much better now. But clearly everything that you think you know about the creators that you're watching, it's really just a surface level. It's just whatever that we are showing you guys and it's not actually whatever that we are really experiencing on a day-to-day -day basis. You might just see us as someone on a screen, but in actual fact, we all have our own issues. We all have our own problems as well. And I think he captured it in this video, although not everyone and definitely not myself. We don't all have the same issues. And something that he has is something that I do not have, but there are people who are extremely close to me who have experienced the same things as well or are experiencing the same things right now so this actually hits home quite hard but if you do not know what i'm talking about let's just watch this together um i have not been doing very great I'm just gonna be honest with you guys um i've been kind of pushing through it um the last few months i i've uh, i'm not new to like not doing well um I, if you've watched me for a while, uh, let's, before this channel even existed, like on the Darth Microtransactions channel, you, you'll know part of what I'm known for is kind of going out here and doing one of these videos, which is uh, talking when I'm not doing well to other people who are also not doing well. And um, it, it's important to me that if you are not doing well as well lately, that um it normalizes it that uh it's a 32 year old man you know i'm a i'm a I'm, I'm a man living in alaska in a cabin in the woods in alaska i walked next to a moose to go work on my sprinter van today you know you would think it's like you know get your shit together but like um you know it, it's okay it, it it's it's okay to like not feel like you have your life together like and the thing is it doesn't have to have uh, it doesn't have to have any correlation to reality. So this is something I see very often misunderstood where um, someone will come to me because they know I struggle too. And I've gone through, you know, uh, moments where I, I just wasn't wanting to continue living. And I've gone, th I have really bad PTSD from uh, she, when I was a kid, like I don't handle arguments very well. It's part of the reason I respond really poorly to comments that are flaming me. Uh, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't, Okay, so yeah, comments, they are a thing. They are a real thing. So not everyone is able to channel comments out. Not everyone is not everyone has the strength to endure some of the negative comments. So I do receive it very often as well. And if my response to you is really subpar or is not as expected, well, based on the kind of personality that you think I have, then I also apologize about it because sometimes people just have a really bad day, right? Something like that. But he also mentioned something very, very important, and that is depression, anxiety. It's not correlated to reality, which is really true. So the people that I know who have gone through this or are still going through this right now, their life is actually really good on the surface, right? They have a good paying job. They have a great set of friends. They have a lot of people to rely on. Their life is looking fantastic, right? Their life is just moving um, very straightforward, very smooth sailing. But there is something in their mind that is telling them that they don't deserve all of this, that they are actually shit, that they are worth fuck all, something like that, right? So there is some really insidious shit going on in their heads and it is not because of what they want, it's not them victimizing themselves, it is the reality of their entirety. Their reality is nothing to do with whatever that they are experiencing in the material world. Everything is in their head and that is a big issue because this is something that people do not really understand I myself struggle to understand sometimes when I'm trying to help or like trying to offer my help to some of these people, right? But at the same time, I do not even know what the hell I'm doing. I do not even know whether am I doing it right. I guess what we really need is a little bit of patience. Handle confrontation very well, etc. Um, you know, I tend to collapse kind of under this pressure or blow up and go over the top. And uh, people that have been following me long enough know that. You guys have probably seen that. But um, let me get myself together for a moment. But it's not based in reality is the point I'm trying to get to here, which is that if you are, uh, and I'm, I'm speaking specifically here, I mean, this applies to everyone, but I feel this 
this is is a very strong thing right now where it's it's middle-aged men you know like 30 to 40 year old dudes i see this a lot i mean i'm talking a lot like half of the people i talk to are just like man I am not doing very good. I just talked to a friend the other day who's doing horrible and there was nothing I could do to help him, you know? And uh, the reality of it is, is he was doing horrible because of a bad situation. He's not in a good situation, you know? And But I am, you know? And, and I have a job I, I love. That, like, it's a dream fucking job that I stumbled my way into. I have a family that cares about me that lives close. And none of that matters to the brain that tells you you're doing, you're, you are miserable. Like it just, it chooses not to listen. And I have gone through the process. I've done therapy. I've been on meds for years that helped for a bit. I've got, I've graduated all of the shit that you go through when you're just trying to get your stuff together. And if you've been watching me, you've seen the place has gotten nicer. We're getting like, we're getting our adult life together, but it never goes away. It, it never goes away. There's. Yep. So whatever that he's saying is remarkable, right? To some of us, we are going to be like, wow, this don't make sense, right? It seems like your life is really piecing up together. But yeah, the reality is it's really not. It's just falling apart and it's probably not going to get better in the foreseeable future as well. You don't even know what's going to happen in the future, right? So for some of these guys, they are really going through a lot. They're really struggling a lot. And it's very disheartening to see that this can actually happen to anyone. All you need is probably one trigger because I think he mentioned something about his youth where he had some PTSD or rather that's where the PTSD came from. And I think that's probably where he developed certain um, mental defenses against everything else in the world. Maybe, I do not know. I'm not an expert on this, but it's possible that I've seen some people develop depression, develop anxiety along the way. I myself have developed anxiety way back then, but it was very minor and I kind of just got over it. I'm not sure how I did it, but it just went away. So the sleepless nights is really no fucking joke. It's the, it's the worst shit ever, right? It's like your entire world just crumbling into nothing and you just realize that, oh, I can't sleep. And that makes things worse as well. So most of you guys who are watching my content, you are within the range of 30 to 40, whatever that he has uh, mentioned as well. I know this because I have the statistics. So this is going to apply to you as well. So about 5% of all adults in the world suffer from some kind of depression, which means that if I have 10,000 of you guys watching my content regularly, holy shit, about 500 of you guys have some kind of depression and you're working through something. But do note that if you need help, there are ways for you to get help. All right, so depending wherever you're from, there is always a place for you to get help. It is just a phone call away and I will put some of those links down in the descriptions below just so that it's a little bit more accessible to you. And not just for depression, but in terms of like gambling addiction as well. If you find that playing gacha games is really tearing at your life, it's really destroying your finances, it's turning your life upside down, it's making your relationships shit, then I would also include those links down in the descriptions below so that maybe someone else who is not me can actually give you some proper advice on how to get around all these and maybe just to circumvent some of these issues and have your life straight again. Well, hopefully that is true. But that is the crux of the video that he is portraying over here, Darth Microtransactions. And of course, big shout out to him for actually being brave enough to voice this out. It's extremely difficult, I can imagine, to show your weaknesses, to be vulnerable to everyone else around you. And especially since he said that there is a lot of haters that say nasty shit to him on a daily basis, right? So even more so, you're giving more power to your enemies, which is something that I have to give him credit for. He is extremely brave for whatever that he has done, especially in this video. And for him to make this video not because of himself, but for the rest of the people who are suffering through similar shit, I only have utter respect for him right now. So anyway, that's it for this video. I will put this link in the descriptions below as well. If you want to go and check it out, if you want to say something nice, go ahead, go over there and say hi to him. Show him some support, show him some love as well. But yeah, that's it for this video.